Yes, us, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Miss Anikta, and here we are back with I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Now, I was kind of running all over the place trying to figure out what I had to do, so I kind of had to look up what I had to do. So, we're gonna go back down the stairs, and we're gonna go... Is it in here? No, it's in here. Um, we're gonna use the door. And there was apparently something that I missed in this room, which... I don't know how I could have missed it, but right here, there's a fork here. So let's take that. See? A little fork. Now we have to walk out of here. And we need to go out here and use the fork with the engine. Metal in the fork, short circuited the engine wiring. See, now the engine has stopped. So, what we can do now is we can actually puncture the airbags again with the knife as we did before. But this time we won't get an that annoying alarm sound when we use it. Gas is rushing out. And then use one more time. Something feels different. So now what we can do is go down the stairs. And now we get this lovely little cutscene of us coming down in the Zeppelin. We've landed. But where? Alright, so let's use the hatch. Some now we roadside can... honky tonk with my name on it. Gorsters and it's a honky tonk. Okay. Let's walk to the front door. Use. Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. Did you used to drink? Is that what's going on? Oh, wait, what is that? Walk to the whiskey. We take the whiskey. We can. Okay. Cool. Got some whiskey. Jukebox. Uh, Jezebel, it takes two to tango. The way madness lies, face the music. He took my baby away, then just about killed her, that stupid truck driver. He took my baby away. That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. She's Ooh. always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? Your wife was in, his, in an insane asylum? Why? You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Oh my God. Uh... You're a worthless excuse for a man. Ooh. Mama was right. Oh You're God. Not good enough for me. You all right? Oh no. Oh no, my progress. Oh no, I'm not sure if I explained this before, but whenever you do something good, your background turns green. But when you make a wrong choice, it turns darker again. God damn it. All right, should I even do this one? Is this gonna make me lose? No, it actually just played music. Okay, all right. Um, use this door. A dog! Oh, Gorister. You've seen better days. So has the big machine for that matter. And it talks! The dog talks! What are you? What are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them at least. Mm, okay. Now, what are you really? Let me answer with a riddle. The day I saw a child. Now what do you suppose that means? No idea. Your am. Playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in at the big machine. He and I are like brothers. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. We all have our curses to bear. Hey, I don't know if I like this dog. Yeah? What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I'd think you'd have a gut instinct by now. Okay. 
Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. You tell him, Gorster. Come, Gorster. Forgive and forget. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. Okay, Dr. Seuss. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. Aw, good doggy. I wish you'd be a good doggy. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart. Ooh. Yours. No. I'm not going to give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Do I do it? Oh, so that was a good choice. Hmm. I think I'll save this delicacy for later. Do you want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. Oh. Oh, look now, I'm happy. Yay. I've got nothing more to say to you. Alright. Can I shovel? Shovel. Be careful where you use that, Gorister. I like to know where all the bodies are buried. Okay. What? Fuck. That's Edna's husband, Harry. Hi, father-in-law. Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Okay. Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Sure. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. You said that already. Let me pour you a drink? Let me pour you a drink. Oh, do I have to get him drunk to talk? Okay, Harry, how'd you Harry, get here? How did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorester. There we go. We came on the Zeppelin. What do you know about the Zeppelin? What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. What? What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who'd you kill? Who did you kill? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Oh, I need to keep pouring you drinks. Let me pour you a drink. All right. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? What? Did I not take a leak yet? And just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? Oh god. I mean, her voice was kind of annoying, but... Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? What do you mean by that? What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a uh, big place... Jesus, Shh. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. All right, let's go. We didn't go in here yet. The restroom? Cracked linoleum, broken fixtures. Disgusting. Yeah. All right, the... Okay. The jackal, or the dog, said to... I want you to look at graffiti. Can I not look at it? Okay. Whatever. Um, look at... Mirror. It's broken. Yeah. Good observation. Graffiti. The woman did the deed. Graffiti. The monster is not alone in the world. It has friends. Oh, that's kind of scary. Um, look at urinal. There's something shiny inside the urinal. Oh. Take. A magnifier. Okay. 
Uh, no, look at it. Graffiti. Men are no good. Well, some of them, but not all of them. We're not generalizing here. Uh, used. Okay. He mentioned something about the dining room. Should we go back? Because I don't want to do the with the thing that Jackal said yet. I want to... Because I feel like the Jackal is the way to, like, progression. So how about we just go back up the ladder. What happened to the music? And maybe... Look at tablecloth? Someone wiped their bloody hands here. Uh, use. I've washed my hands of the past. Oh. Oh, because I had blood on my hands from the animals that I killed to get the key. Okay. Um, debris. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. Blood here and God knows what else. Can I use the magnifying glass? Here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Ooh. Now I understand what happened here. So we fought with the father in law. And I think he tried to kill me. Come on, go. Use. All right, the music's back. All right, let's talk to a uh, father-in-law here. Spill. Let me pour you a drink first. Pour you a drink. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. Oh, jeez. When the poison took effect, I cut you open. Ooh. Why did you kill me? It's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. Is that it? Talk to you later. All right, I guess I can go um, to the bathroom now. It said flush three times, so. And three. A meat locker. Ooh. How'd I get bodies on meat hooks? Am you bastard? What have you done? Oh, this is creepy. Look at look at this. It looks like a devil with the horns. So creepy. Beef. Great A quality too. Ham's never given us something this good to eat before. Something's wrong here. Uh look at Oh, that's our wife. Linus, what has Ham done to you, honey? And there's mother in law. That's Edna, my mother in law. No, this is too good to be true. Talk to. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna, even in the belly of Anne. Or, Edna, you bitch, I know all about the plot to murder me. Let's just talk to her first. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna, even in the belly of Anne. Why would you want to escape from me, Gorister? We're family, after all. You were always telling Glynis how much you hated me? You were always telling Glynis how much you hated me. Now, Gorister... I was just concerned about my baby. Glynis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know yeah, you was were a truck doing driver. the best you could. Uh, okay. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. Uh, why should I trust my own murderer? Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Something's gone wrong. Am's two comrades don't listen to me anymore. I need comrades? You. And you need me. It's that simple. There's more people than just Am? 
Okay. Take Edna down from the meat hook. You truck oh! son of a bitch! This is for me and my baby! Let me go. Let me go. I've got you now, Chorister. And if you think you'll ever escape me, you've got some new thinking to do. Oh my god, this bitch! What what do I say? Please I'll do Please, I'll do anything you ask. I don't know what's come over me, Corster. Can you ever forgive me? I've been hanging here for so long, I'm not thinking straight. A sip of that milk will clear my head. Milk? I don't know if I trust her. No, I don't trust you. Corister, let me down or I'll scratch your eyes out, you worthless excuse for a man! Ooh! There's a key. Edna, you dropped a key. Hand me back that key and let me down. I'm your only hope of getting out of here. I, I don't want to. I'm not going to give her the milk. Sorry, Edna. I don't trust you as far as I can spit. Let me prove my good intentions. I'll let you go. Stop. Now give me the key. Tie up Edna with rope. I'll rip your spleen out! I'm taking <laughs> you with me, Edna. Wow. I d What? I just took Edna. Wow. Okay. Take the key. Um. Can I... Can I take you too? I can't take the whole friggin' world with me. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. I feel kind of bad for that. Um, uh, do I just, do I talk to her? She can't talk. All she can do is drool out of the side of her mouth. My God, what have I done? Uh, can I look at This bottle's filled with the milky fluid used to feed the animals. Can I give this to her? Use milky fluid. Bitter stuff. Oh no! But I feel stronger. I don't want to use it on me. I wouldn't do shit. Give to Glennis. No, I can't give Glennis the fluid. If I revived her, I don't think I could stand to face her again after what I did to her. Okay, so that can't work. What the fuck am I doing with Edna? And there's no Talk other you later. different. Okay. Because she's not dead, I just have her tied up. Uh. She got it. There's a new key. So that has to open one of these rooms, right? Let me... Walk. Oh, wait, there was that thing, wasn't there, over here? This. Harness. Can I use Edna's body with the harness? I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. Oh. Ew. Uh. Go. Don't know what that accomplishes, though. Let's use the key with the door. I think that's the locked one. So many dials and controls. Our light is lit. Look at logbook. Edna wrote this logbook. Use. Edna's first log entry.
Oh. I'll be damned. They just claimed responsibility for Glennis. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. Oh, yay, I'm getting happy. I thought I could do what Am wants, but he's too precise. I poisoned the punch, but I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. That was Maybe Harry. My husband. Then this Zeppelin can clear the mountains. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. Ooh. Okay. Look at So how do I get out of here? Look at walk to a door, okay? Can we do anything else with Edna? Or do we just leave her there? Can I talk? She should she talk? It's good to finally see you doing something useful with those negative currents running through your brain. I guess not. Can I stab her? I just dull my knife. <laughs> nope. Okay. Um, let's go back down. I think now that I have, I got rid of her, I can probably help Glynis. So let's go back. Um, use... Alright. Let's go back to that meat locker and save our wife. Harry just gonna sit there, you know? <laughs> Your wife isn't in any danger, she's just powering the ship, I mean, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing. Uh, take... Can I, wait, can I give her the... Milk now or no? This fluid should revive you, honey. Take. I wouldn't know what to do with it even if I could take it. Um. Talk to? Glennis, all these years and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. Oh, okay, I took her down. At least I finally made amends with her. I'm taking Aww. her body out of this freezer. It's actually kind of sad. Can we bury her? Oh, we have the shovel. We can. Uh, look at the ground here. Um, use the shovel with the ground. Okay, and then use Glennis's body with the grave. Aww. That's sad. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a dream. Your heart for Edna's. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay. So, now, I can, Harry's just kind of sitting there, um, now can I cut out Edna's heart, and then give it to the jackal, use knife, I just dull my knife, no? Use knife with Edna. I just dull my knife. No? Okay. Use. I understand. I think we could just leave now. Like, I don't think it's needed that I need to give the heart to the jackal. Come on, use the stairs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, use this. Airbags are inflated. Okay. Now we can go to that 
power room that we opened. It's locked. Oh. Because why'd you relock it, Gorster? Stupid. Uh. So how do I get out of here? Use alternative. So how do I get out of here? Oh, switch. You use switch. There we go. Now we're going away. Out into a thunderstorm, it seems. We're taking off. That's cool. Now what? I have a gun. What do I use the gun for? And what is this key for? Okay, she's still there. This went to a huge circle, but maybe let's go outside. Let's use a tear. Oh, look at Gorister. Blow the place apart. You may never have a chance to do it again. Blow the place apart. What do you mean? And I thought we were I thought we floated away. Uh look at Edna. Edna. It's good to finally see you doing something useful with those negative currents running through your brain. Uh, I can't stab her. Can I shoot her? Ooh, I can! Oh, so I did it. Who among you shall go next? There we go. All right, so we figured out Gorster's part of the story. Um, I'm gonna save actually. Save. Yes. All right. So I'm actually gonna leave this episode here, um, and we'll figure out which character we're gonna play next. Probably gonna be Ellen, because just to go down the line, that's just usually how it works. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you leave a like, comment, or subscribe to my channel in order to see more content. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Yes, us.